Not in my wife's wildest dreams. He doesn't feature in her wildest dreams. Could she have imagined me addressing you as chairman of the bank her family founded 200 years ago? I've hung out with English people a long time. I, I've done a lot of Shakespeare uh, with Americans and Brits and Canadians. And, you know, everybody has their own version of what the right accent is. But uh, it seemed to me that I could probably approximate this guy and nail him without the assistance of a technical coach. In fact, coaches usually make it harder. Thank you. Thank you. They try to describe a certain thing. Oh, no, 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 that's not, not exactly right. And then you're trying to mimic them, and then you're screwing up your work. And so it's, if you can go without it, you know, it's better. What the hell are you doing? I had to warn you. He's only after your shares. You're the only thing stopping him from having the whole bank. I'm not taking you back, Charles. I don't remember saying I'd want you. When a Brit plays an American, I try to tell them, be less American. Don't worry so much about it. Get your rhythm. Get your rhythm through the through the language, because well, honestly, we don't hit many words. We don't spend a lot of time banging on to syllables or, or shaping the vowels, you know? And if you get the rhythm, you're more likely to sound really American instead of, you know, like a Brit trying to play a Brit, an American. I know I was a terrible husband and a useless banker. And your career in this line of work won't last long either. 